Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC again, and we have a very dense mystery package here. It just says Nightshade Midnight Black G10. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna find out. So like I said, this is a total and utter mystery. The, the box just says shipping department, uh, Richmond Place, Rancho Cucamonga, California. And it just says Nightshade, uh, C850 Nightshade Midnight Black G10 Star 1. I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, I, you know, I don't really even have a guess. Oops. We'll open this up with the uh, Brian Brown Jaeger here. This arrived a few days ago. I just haven't had time to open it. Um... Uh, Ooh, do I know what this is? Vosteed. I do I do know what this is. Alright, okay. Alright. Okay, alright. Sick, 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 sick. So uh, Vosteed is a name that's been getting kicked around a lot lately. Uh and they have some interesting knives and people have great things to say about them. I've never handled one before. Um, and they reached out, a, you know, a week or two ago and said, Hey, well, do you mind if we send you something? And I said, please, and thank you. That's very kind of you. And here it is. The Vosteed Nightshade. There's the, uh, model name for you. Nightshade Midnight Black G10. Ooh, ah. Very heavy-duty, intense packaging here. Kind of packaged like a lot of higher-end fountain pens I've had in the past. You know I'm a sucker for good packaging. I'm a sucker for good packaging. So let's... let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe too good? The packaging just might be too good. So real nice outer sleeve. Got the logo there. Vosteed on the side. Nothing else going on. And then... Eh, um, Is that upside down? Which way? Ooh. And then a nice little tin really nice like a bluish gray color with the orange logo raised literally like a metal case very nice a very pretty little box and then oh my god you pull the tin apart and there's, there they uh there's a pouch in there good and that is in there some cards some documentes Nightshade, 154cm, three and a quarter inch blade, kookery cutter, flat grind, midnight black. Interesting. Ooh, I, yep, I do know what this is. Nice pouch, too. Nothing too crazy. Let's move that nonsense aside. Let's get to the goods here. Now, I handled, uh, Bee's Blades had one of these on him up at River's Edge Cutlery in Columbus a week or two ago. And I handled it, and I was really impressed. So, uh, not a huge knife. In pictures, it looks a lot bigger than it really is. Uh, stainless liners, it's a budget knife. So, stainless liners, G10 scales, um, a gray G10 kind of faux pivot collar going on. Visually, it's a flipper and a flipper only. No detent lash, that's good to see. A lot of blades sticking out. There it is. Look at that. I told bees it looked like a banana. So this it will for now and forever be the banana knife. Nice G10. Nice finishing on it. Contoured scales. Uh, skeletonized liners. Very nice to see. Nice jimping on the liner lock there. It is a liner lock. Ergos. Choke back. Feels great. Nice deep carry clip. Sits really low. That might be an issue. That's really tight here. And that's not a ton of space. But, well, we'll see. You'll see in the long term. Um, nice jimping out here on the blade spine. Really nice jimping, actually. That's nice. And as you can see, the blade is, like, canted downward. So, you have a lot more force behind your cuts. You're not twisting and doing weird things with your wrist just to do some normal cutting tasks. Uh, a nice kukri-style blade there. Full flat grind. 154 cm. Just says uh, Vosteed Nightshade right there, and then the blade steel. Nice, kind of a subtly crowned spine. Not really crowned, but like kind of crowned. Let's call it kind of crowned. Let's check the action. Ooh, detent's good. I don't like it when flipper tabs are angled downward where you're flipping it, but I mean, it works. Shoot. Can you reverse flick it? Eh. 
Yeah, dude, you can totally reverse flick it. Just enough blade sticking out of there for you to kind of whip it on out. Thumb flick too. Love it. Love it. You know, visually, not my kind of knife, but in hand, in real life, that's nice. You can't really choke up, kind of trigger pull it if you want to, but uh, pinch grip feels great. Kind of hook in back here behind the uh, flipper tab. All right, Vostid, you have my attention, man. Damn. Action is solid. Running on bearings. Solid lockup. No blade play, no lock rock. All right. Let's try... Uh, let me try this damn clip for a sec. Oh, shoot. Well, these are gym shorts, so they're nice and thin, but... Hey, whatever. It works. We ought... We ought to cut something with it right quick. We ought to see if the old nightshade will do any slicing. It... Ooh, nice factory edge on there. Oh, wow. Yeah, full flat grind. Doing, doing, uh, doing the work. Oh, man. That's really, that is a really nice, like butter, baby. Like butter, like it's not even there. Really comfortable in hand, just doing like slicing and dicing. Very interesting. Again, not one I would have spent my own money on, but having it in hand, kind of changing my mind already. Kind of changing my mind. The Vosti Nightshade, this is not the full review. This is just an unboxing, some first impressions. Uh, there will be a full review at some point in the near future. I don't know when that may or may not be, but uh, keep an eye out. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye now.